Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo's Space Program, where today we're going to be doing another fun mod spotlight, or really more specifically a plug-in that is pretty fun. I, I've been actually really enjoying this plug-in since I started using it just earlier today. Now we're going to go into our test save here and try out the time control plugin by forum user Zaire. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It's X A I I E R. And this plugin was previously the Dynamic Warp mod. This is a re release of it after I believe the original Dynamic Warp mod was abandoned uh, a little while ago. And what this does is essentially add time control to the game. Now you can already fast forward, we all know that, but this. This allows you to go slow motion, and it's glorious. So if we just go over to the launch pad real quick, all right, we've got this loaded up with Bill, Jeb, and Bob, and you'll notice right here we've got this little time control little box, which we can minimize if we want, if we don't want to see it. And this is also compatible with the toolbar plugin, so it will make a little box on your toolbar if you have that installed, which currently I do not, but what this allows you to do is, well, time control. And if you have it at the, just the normal 1x, it will do whatever time you have set on here. So for right now, it would just be normal time. But if we launch the ship, turn on the SAS, and fire the engines, let's go to half speed. Or maybe one third. One fourth, one fifth, and so forth and so off, on all the way down to one sixty fourth normal time. <laughs> this is just beautiful, and look at their faces, they're frozen, it, it's great. Let's actually go to out here one seventh, and you can see just everything slowly moving, including our Kerbals just slowly moving their faces. And you can still control the ship while you're in this slow motion view and it's just great so if we just sort of separate here and roll off roll off the problem with slow motion it takes a while for things to happen yeah we're slowly rolling off the main craft there all in glorious one seventh speed <laughs> this is just so much fun to have slow motion in the game, especially with all the amazing builds that people have of large ships and just amazingly cool explosions that happen. Now you can do them in slow motion and it's glorious. So if we actually open the parachute, look at it slowly open and it's it's great. It, it is just, it's so much fun. And it also, besides just being awesome, it actually has some very good uses to the game as well. For one, if you have a very complicated ship that keeps failing during your flight, you can slow time down to see exactly what is going on. So you can notice that, oh, that engine over there is what is blowing up at this time and so forth and so on. So you can use it to troubleshoot your crafts and also, if you have a slower computer, you can use it to get a more manageable ship launching experience. As right now, the video is going pretty smooth, or the game rather, is going quite smoothly because it's still pr it's processing the physics basically quickly. I mean, it's still processing the physics at the same amount of time that it normally does, but time is slowed, so technically it's processing processing more physics information, which is why it's going slowly, but that can cause issues. But what you can do is you can lock the physics to the delta, or lock physics delta to default, and that will actually lock the physics to what it should be. So say if it does normally at normal speed, I honestly don't know how many physics calculation it does, but say for instance, it did 10 physics calculations per second. Right now, we're still doing 10 physics calculations per second, 
but we're going a lot slower, so more physics essentially is happening to our ship. But if we lock the physics to delta default, you can notice the actual slow motion becomes choppier because it's now doing those normal physics calculations. So since we're one seventh speed, it's, you know, one seventh of a second. Uh, that how many calculations would have happened in that it, it's it's a little screwy to try and it describe but essentially it's locking the physics to what it would normally be so there's a far fewer physics calculations going on and if you have a slow computer you can use that to basically help you with your FPS issues because time is slowed down and the physics have slowed and so you can actually launch your ship that you're trying to do into space without technically losing frames per second. Even though it does look choppier because those physics calculations are have been slowed, as you can notice here, you can really notice that, that how choppy the physics is. Because it's trying to calculate the physics at normal speed even though we're going slow. So if we turn that back off, yeah, it's calculating the physics essentially at the one seventh speed. So it's doing many, many more calculations technically than it normally would. And so you can use that with the slow speed and the lock physics to help if you have a much slower computer than say my computer. I mean, I can run with all these physics calculations with no problem all the way down to a really, really slow speed and I'm just fine. But if we go back to normal speed here real quick, just back to 1x, it's glorious. <laughs> and I actually want to uh, have this capsule land because I want to get out one of the Kerbals and try something. I, I, I'm i kind of thinking it would be hilarious to uh, <laughs> uh, have a Kerbal running in slow motion. It would be fun. Oh, explosions happening over there. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, th this is just a really cool mod, and I could see it being used for people who do videos and Kerbal Space Program and machinimas, things like that. You can get some proper slow motion shots rather than making it slow-mo in your post-processing. And also, like I said, you can use the slow-mo to, tr uh, to troubleshoot your larger, more complicated craft, or if you have a slower computer you can use it to help you play the game a bit better uh, and you know so you have fewer frames lost during the usual launch of a ship it is quite cool and for me I just love slow motion in video games <laughs> it is one of my favorite mods that I have installed on Just Cause 2 is the slow-mo mod because it's just so glorious to be running around in slow motion with explosions and well you have that in Kerbal Space Program. So let's get uh, Jebediah out on EVA. And let go, my friend. Oh, actually, I kind of wish I would have done that in slow-mo. Let's actually have him crab the this here and woo. All right. It actually seems to get some frame drops with the physics when you are outside, but let's go to like one fifth speed and have him drop and ragdoll. Let's see what happens in slow-mo. Oh, there he goes. And that is one fifth speed ragdolling of poor Jebediah. So let's get him up. Oh, it's not liking the, <laughs> the EVA physics. Oh, wow. It's kind of, even with my computer, it's sort of going a bit wonky with the frames all right turn around there we go let's just go like half speed and there we go slow motion Jebediah running bring it down one fifth there we go <laughs> oh that's glorious I really really do love that and take it down to 164th and he's essentially standing still now, the physics is a little bit wonky with uh, EVA, apparently. I guess there's a lot of things to calculate just because of all the animations going on in the character. But uh, that is cool, though. I, I really like how slow that's going. But 
let's put it back up to normal speed and revert flight to launch. And I want to try, and I don't know if I'll be able to, but I want to try to replicate one of the potential faults with this. There are some bugs, of course. There's always going to be bugs when you're messing around with time. <laughs> and, well, one of the bugs that it has on the forums is if you constantly... Sw oh, there we go. Yep, if you change the time scale a lot, it'll do that to your ship. <laughs> it basically breaks things. Oh, wow. Wow, that... F <laughs> Goodbye, Wing. You've served us well. <laughs> oh, that's that's just wonderful. I, I really like that. But yeah, that is one of the issues. It is a bug, so don't switch back and forth between things, because that will break stuff. And that Wing is kind of freaking me out. Let's refer to flight again. Back to launch. Let's see what that happens in a normal launch. So if we throttle up and launch, go slow. Ah, oh, that's just beautiful. Look at that. And we sort of switch it back and forth here. So switching between slow speeds doesn't seem to do it. It's when you switch up with high speeds. Oh, though it's not. Oh, there it goes. All right, we're breaking apart. Oh, these Kerbals are in trouble. Oh, but just look at that glorious slow motion. Those RCS ports flying off, that engine tumbling away. It's it's just so beautiful. <laughs> but, yeah, that is basically all there really is to the time control mod. You have control of time. Wow, Jebediah's look. That's kind of weird. It's slow-mo because he's just stuck there. And poor Bob. Oh, poor, poor Bob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a really, really cool mod, and I can see myself having a lot of fun with this plugin, because slow motion is just fun, and you can have all sorts of good times with it, like with explosions going on, and your Kerbal's running around, and oh, look at the smoke trail even still there, that is, that is just glorious. And yeah, again, it'll help you with troubleshooting. Though we know what the problem was with this crash. Time manipulation can be a bit finicky of a thing, unless you're a Time Lord. <laughs> and, of course, you could also use this once again if you have a slower computer to help you with launches. Because even at 164 speed, you do still have control of the ship. So we are slowly but surely tilting this thing down. And it's just going really slow. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's just fun. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be it for this episode. Kind of a short one, because, well, really not that much to show with this mod. It is just fun to have slow motion. Oh, poor Jebediah. Why did I get him out? Poor guy. Well, he's at 164 speed, so it'll take him a while to land, though. Let's... Whoa. There we go. Yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and I do hope that you go and check out this wonderful mod here, as it is just a whole lot of fun to be able to control time. And oh wow, he's actually still holding on. I guess we should let go. Sorry, buddy. And he's away. But yeah, please do go check out this mod. You'll have a lot of fun with it. Just messing around doing things like this. It's it's hilarious. And if you do, in fact, have a slower computer, this could certainly be a thing that could help you quite a bit. Uh, though if your computer is really, really bad, that still probably won't help you. But hey, who knows? So go on, give it a try. Have some fun manipulating time. And hopefully you'll come back for the next episode of this, where we'll be taking a look at some more things here in Kerbal Space Program. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one.